Spartan Health Sciences University School of Medicine is an independent medical institution established on January 7, 1980. The government of St. Lucia chartered and licensed Spartan Health Sciences University and provided accreditation by the St. Lucian Government Monitoring Committee, appointed to oversee the school's academic, fiscal and management standards. The Monitoring Committee ensures that Spartan standards are comparable to those set by the Liaison Committee on Medical Education, as required by the Department of Education in the United States. The university is listed in the World Directory of Medical Schools, now called Avicenna Directories, published by the World Health Organization, a WHO in Geneva, Switzerland. Spartan is also in the International Medical Education Directory, maintained by the Foundation for Advancement of International Medical Education and Research of Educational Commission of Foreign Medical Graduates of the United States of America. When I joined the university in September, it was an ongoing process for accrediting the school. And in December 2009, we had a committee from New York State Department, and the committee gave their full accreditation to Spartan Health Sciences University. Uh, what is the meaning of this? Uh, the meaning is that the, uh, the team we will recommend to the regent of New York State. Uh, and this accreditation means that um, our program, medical program, substantially meets all the requirements of the uh, New York Educational Department, Commission of New York Educational Re Department. Um, this is something which we have achieved during the last 30 years. Our school is one of the oldest Caribbean international medical schools. And during the last 30 years, we constantly upgrade our medical program and we constantly meet all the standards. And this is exactly why New York Department actually gave their accreditation. And we are trying to keep our tuition cost reasonable so we can actually uh, educate more students, more applicants, and at the same time give them the opportunity to be trained in the state of the art. And our goal is constantly to improve our program, constantly to get uh, better training for our students so they can practice all over the world. When they graduate from Spartan Health Science University, they actually get MD degrees, which means they actually can practice in different parts of the world. And we have more than 2,000, I think more than 2,000 right now, uh, graduates. And they're practicing in the United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Europe, um, Africa, Asia. And um, that's exactly is the best part of our university. We are trying to train students global coming from different countries, it's like to meet the globalization standards, which is something um, recently, uh, last 10, 15 years, like we are talking about this globalization, and I think this is one thing which we have to achieve. Spartan Health Sciences University School of Medicine works in conjunction with institutions such as the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College and St. Jude Hospital in its execution of the Department of Health Sciences program. Faculty and students at Spartan must satisfy local standards set by the St. Lucia Medical Council that monitors the achieved qualifications, experience and competence. They ensure that graduates can function appropriately within the country's hospital and health centers. The Campus and Facilities the university campus is located in a residential area, and the facilities have continuously evolved into a modern multi-million dollar medical school complex. Classrooms are large and climate controlled for year-round comfort. Students find the classrooms, laboratory, library, diner and exercise facilities quite adequate. Faculty and administrative offices are located within the campus, allowing students easy access to any needed assistance. The library is housed in a low traffic area and has designated student quiet study areas and is equipped with modern computers with internet facilities for easy accessibility to online medical information. Wireless internet access is available in most of the classrooms near the library for students with laptops. All classes have audio-visual aids and intranet connection. The university is equipped with ancillary electrical generation equipment and 46,500 gallon water storage to ensure that infrequent power and water outages do not interrupt instruction. The university boasts a modern anatomy and histology laboratory, including an isolated dissection room and cadaver storage facility. The way 
our program is structured is we have a 20 month of basic science program and 20 months of clinical science program. Most of the students, they finish the basic science program here on the island of St. Lucia for 20 months. The basic science program is composed of uh, basic science courses plus the didactic preclinical courses and the bridging curriculum. The basic science courses mostly consist of uh, uh, anatomy, physiology, microbiology, pharmacology and pathology. The didactic courses are preclinicals which are exposition to the clinical clerkships when they do in the US. And the bridging curriculum that is being developed is to help the students to take the USMLA exam that prepares them. It's mostly clinical lineage questions as they do the program concurrently. Once they finish here, they have to take the comprehensive exam called National Board of Medical Examinations. They had to pass that exam, then afterwards they had to take the USMLA step one. They had to pass that to be eligible to start their clinical clerkships. So when the students finish that, they come back to the United States. They do the 20 months of clinical clerkships, all in various hospitals that the school has affiliations. And they finish the program with that, and then they later on during, while they're doing the clinical clerkships, they do the step two USMLE, the clinical skills exam. Then once they finish all these three exams and finish the program, they get the diploma from the school. Then afterwards, they had to go to the RS matching program conducted by ECFMG, and they will be placed in the different residency programs all over the United States. And most of the Spartan graduates, they are currently doing uh, residency programs all over the United States and also they are practicing in all various specialties in the United States of America. And the, for the people who do not want to come to States, they can do the rotations in the UK, you can do in uh, UE Jamaica and also in other various countries. Our student population consists of more than 1992 countries which is a amalgam of United Nations and we are very proud to have a community like that. Uh, then the people they go back to their respective countries to give back the service to their fellow human beings and we have students practicing in various countries also. Our marketing is mostly our alumni, they send, uh, there's a word of mouth, they do tell them and we also do on the internet, we do the advertisement, uh, newspaper advertisement, television advertisements like one being done right now uh, and uh, mostly because uh, our graduates with alumni, they help uh, as a word of mouth and propagate the name of the Spartan and we've been so far successful in our endeavor in recruiting and enhancing our student population. Admission in evaluating individual applicants' credentials, the admission committee looks for applicants' capacity to do academic work for absorption of the material needed for sound foundation in the basic medical sciences. Evaluation is also carried out on grade point averages GPA, from individual colleges and universities and letters of recommendation. However, academic background is not the main criterion for selection. Individual character and motivation to become a physician are essential determinants for admission. The minimum requirement for admission is 90 semester credit hours of college university level coursework or three years. However, a bachelorate degree is preferred and is recommended of students coming from countries other than the United States and Canada. MCAT is highly recommended. The admission committee has no preference for an undergraduate major. However, college and university studies should include general biology with laboratory, one year, general physics with laboratory, one year, general chemistry with laboratory, one year, organic chemistry with laboratory, one year, or organic chemistry and biochemistry sequence is acceptable. Mathematics, one year. The above courses must be taken at a minimum of freshman college or university level. Caribbean Examination Council Grade 1 and 2, English, Mathematics. Two years advanced level, Biology, Chemistry, Physics.